All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to mix up the Copac or the Peridonal dressing. So um, this is just a brand, pretty common one. You would dispense equal lengths of each of the base and catalyst. Um, I'm gonna mix it with a tongue blade because this material can be very, very sticky if you were to use a metal spatula. So um, just make sure you mix it all the way. You don't want any streaks or anything in the mix. Scrape it all up here. It takes a little bit to set, so um, I grabbed a bowl of water and that will help accelerate the set on this. So I just mix it, mix, mix. And then as it's all mixed up, gather as much as you can onto the tongue blade here. And I'm gonna actually just put this right in the water to set. Um, this stuff, you have to make sure your gloves are wet, otherwise it will stick to anything that's dry, um, like on my glove already. So I'm gonna get my fingers wet, get my gloves wet. Cause then once this sets a little more, you're gonna roll it into like a little um, ball. So I'll just kind of check it here. A little bit longer. So again, this periodontal dressing acts as a band-aid over the surgical site. It just protects it from temperatures, different types of food, um, and just daily, you know, talking, brushing, all of those things. Okay, so now it's set enough here that I'm gonna just roll it in a ball. You can re um, dampen your hands if you need to. And I'm gonna place it from canine to canine, like in the video it had some lower <clears throat> sutures placed, so flatten it out so the length of the area so canine, I'm gonna get my finger a little bit more wet. And you can do almost all this without any instruments. And then I'm gonna just take the lip and kind of mold it around here. And if it comes up too high, you can just take a Greg and just come across about two thirds of the way up and just trim that excess away and then again smooth that out you don't want it to interfere when the patient bites together um, and then the doctor would have them come back in either three to three days to about two weeks just depends on the surgery and the doctor and the healing time so there is the periodontal dressing and then um, say the patient comes back a couple weeks later to have it removed, all you would need to do is take a Greg and you just start at one side and kind of lift up and just rolls and lifts off. So again, be careful because the tissue is still healing and still fresh, so you don't want to disrupt that. And take that, get this little piece down here. And then, the doctor would take a peek, make sure everything looks good. So that is how you place the periodontal dressing.